Greetings people of the internet, my name is Yatari and today I'm giving a video about Bitcoin. Now I'm at a party so this video will be actually short but I saw what Bitcoin is doing so I want to give you the video. So look at this, Bitcoin after I made my, my last video it actually fell down, tapped the, the triangle and went back up. Now this is actually bullish and I'm going to be explaining to you guys why this is bullish in this video. So let's get into it. So. Bitcoin did in fact tap the bottom of the equilateral triangle. This triangle could also be a bull flag. This is why I'm bullish because this this bull flag, this triangle, it could take us all the way to about $85,000. Now, why am I bullish? Because since we tapped the bottom of the triangle, that leaves us practically no space to come down. So either we go up right now, guys, and tap the top, and if we and after that, if we get rejected, we will have to come back down. But that, in my opinion, will be already too close to the appendix of the triangle. So the end of the triangle. And guys, if we get too close to the triangle, this triangle could be a fake. The closer we get to the end of the triangle, the, the more highly chance this is a fake. And instead of going up or down, we could just keep bouncing around inside of this thing. And this is why, guys, don't take action until we break either 64,700 or 59,500 because that is where we either will pump up or pump or dump down because those are the previous higher highs or lower highs because here's the lower high, I mean the lower low, and here's the higher high. Those are the previous ones. So we have to break them in order to either go up or down. But we are looking bullish because not only that, if we go to the daily time frame, we have the EMA ribbon. EMA ribbon, it looks like we could be bullish because we tapped support on it. And guys, unless we fall back down and we start breaking through the EMA ribbon, which is an option, I think that we could be going up because we are now starting to pump back up to the top of the triangle because that's usually what we do when we tap the bottom. So if we right now go up, we will break through the triangle because we're really close to the end. Unless we get rejected, I am bullish. So why didn't we even break go up after we tapped to the previous times because we got rejected off of the triangle and we got rejected off of this line so guys do not take action until we break this line but since we're going up and we're so close to the end of the triangle it looks like we could be going up another thing we have if i go to the first uh this first triangle right here we have the uh stochastic car side that is really low and if I draw the line again, we are confirming support on this support on the RSI time frame. So guys, as long as we're above the support, you know what happens. We stay up. We do not fall down because last time when we broke below right here, we actually had a gigantic dump down and we couldn't go up. As soon as we broke it, we started pumping up and having the higher highs. So if we break this, guys, then we will be falling down, of course. And guys, one more thing, if we make a higher high on the R side, then we will actually be going up because guys, higher highs is good. And we already have a smaller higher high, which is why we've been pumping in the short term time frame. So if you make another higher high, then that would be really bullish for Bitcoin because we established our trend. And guys, we actually have established our trend sort of, even though the R side, the, even though the ADX and DI is showing that we're still dropping, we actually have this trend right here. So as long as we're pumping, as long as we're above this trend, I mean, then we will actually be going up. If we break this, then the whole entire thing breaks, um, and I will be bearish because as soon as we break this trend, I'm bearish because not only this trend keeps us alive and keeps us from falling down, the it, it is also about where the EMA ribbon is. So if we break this trend, we break the EMA ribbon. Of course, this happened before a lot of times. We had like this support right here. So basically, when we were pumping up right here, we had the support. And this is one of the triangles I was talking about in my previous video. How look at this. We had a smaller triangle here, and then we actually were tapping the EMA ribbon, and we fell down to the bottom of the EMA ribbon. But it could also have been a bigger triangle. If I zoom, if I go back, it could have also been a bigger triangle. So there is a possibility for us to dump, but it looks really bullish. So if we break this trend right now, guys, then we will come down to about the bottom of the EMA ribbon. But it looks like we could be going up right now because we tapped the bottom of the triangle. So we will have to see what we do, what Bitcoin does. If it goes up and breaks to the top of the triangle and breaks to this resistance, 
we go we will be super bullish if it breaks through the support breaks through the EMA ribbon we will be bearish and we'll go to about 56,000 if it breaks that we go to this level 53,000 so that is what I think Bitcoin will do so that being said hope you guys enjoyed this video if you leave a like down below subscribe if you haven't tried don't forget to click that post notification bell I'll see you guys next video bye